What's up, you guys? My name is Mary. I'm with High Priestess Intuition. Welcome, my current subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel and you enjoy my content, you can smash the sub button to be notified of future readings. This free general collective reading for um, all signs, top two sides, everybody in between. Don't forget the basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply, let it fly. Everyone has free will. Only take the messages that resonate. Leave the rest. Free general collective reading. Love you guys so much. Okay, so I got that one, that channeling. I just did it. Well, then, so I clicked it off, and I'm about to get my walking shoes on, man. I'm about to go, just saying. And then I get another one, so this is a good one. Y'all know I don't get no lovey-dovey messages up in this biatch. Y'all know that. And that's just the truth. I'm, I usually don't. I don't get no Google yard. I mean, I'm not talking about, I'm not talking about um, lust Google yard. Now, you know, there's a difference between less googly eyes and love googly eyes, and there's a difference. Just saying, just saying. Um, this is like care, like the heart card and the uh, tea leaves is what I'm feeling. Like, I do feel there's definitely some lust here. For sure. I mean, damn, just for sure, for sure. Definitely think there's lust here, but there is definitely caring and dare I say a little bit of love. And I, I mean, I'm just being for real. I mean, I don't think like been with you 20 years, know everything about you, can trust you with my back, um, kind of love. Like that, that's a once in a lifetime twin flame shit right there. Um, when you can trust somebody with your entire life, bank account, health, wealth, which not that you should trust anybody with your whole life, bank account, health and wealth, just saying, just saying, no. We encourage independence over on this bitch. But I'm just saying, if you could trust somebody with that, that is um, true love. Like, love, love. Just being able to be able to do that with somebody would be love. I would, I, I'm not saying nobody do that. Please, God, don't. Um, I encourage independence on this bitch. Own bank account, own health, own wealth, own well-being. And that's just the truth. Um, but to protect yourself. I don't care how much you love somebody. And that's the truth. Because we pull in too many abusive situations. But my point is. Um, um, this person definitely has the googly eyes for you. If this resonates for you. They, they have the googly eyes, man. Now, I don't think it's an obsessive sub stalker kind of way. Like a mental health disorder kind of way. And thank God for that. I just want to throw that out there. I'm serious. I, I don't. Think it's that kind of way. So thank you, God. Um, <laughs> but um, definite, like, okay. So when I was got the channeling in, after I got it in, I was just sitting here like mulling on it. Um, I got the energy of like, can't get you off my mind. Um, energy, like this person just cannot get you off their mind, and I'm just being for real, like. The, they just, they can't get you off their mind. Spirit messages, you have to reflect this. That's intuitively what I feel here. Think of that song. Can't get you off my mind. Hard to take it. We've got two months in here. Announcement, October, February. Spirit messages, you have to reflect this. All right, let's pull some of these. Okay, so yeah, so I feel they just can't get you off your damn, uh, their damn mind, and I'm just being for real. Share messages here. Refuge. Miracles. Number 16 or 31 can be very significant numbers in one's life. Number 16 or 31, it could be a possible age of you or somebody you're connected to or any other significant number. Number 16 or 31. Announcement, October, February, finger, warning you of a problem either now or in the near future.
This person thinks of you a lot. They have cleared out a lot of negative energy in their life. This person thinks of you a lot. They uh, have cleared out a lot of negative energy in their life. So um, they they think of you a lot. So ma'am, uh, you can be a man or a woman. You plug it in how it resonates. But they think of you a lot. And basically, um, <laughs> they think of you a lot. Um, they're very single. They're very single. And you are too. Okay, they're very single and you are too. Well, that's good. So you're very single and they are too. And they think of you a lot. I can get you off my mind. Bill. Heard they've cleared a lot of negative energy out of their life, so that's good. Just saying. This person intuitively has known you're their twin flame for a while. They didn't want to admit it. They really did not want to admit it, but now they know you are. Intuitively. They might reach out soon. In a very nonchalant way. Okay. So you plug it in how it resonates. Okay, so this person, okay, so we have twin flame energy in here. So you're both single, and that's good. And you both, um, oh, you're both single to Pringle, and you both, uh, you live separate lives, independent lives, I would hope. I mean, you know your situation, they know their situation, but you both, both definitely live separate lives, whether they're codependent, independent, or what have you, what have you. You live separate lives, baby. And you're both single, but... This person has known you're their twin flame for a hot minute, but they didn't want to admit you were. So inside themselves, they pushed out the mindset that you were their twin. I think they like being single, is what I think. They love being single, and so do you. Oh, that's confirmation. They love being single, and so do you. Well, at least y'all both have that in common. Because, and the reason, that's good though. You want to know why? Because this person loves being single and so do you. Well, if you're talking relationship department, if you both love being single and if you ever come together like hanging out or as friends or what have you, what have you, if the connection grows closer and you both love being single right now and it naturally gravitates to where you might not become single in the future, then that's saying something. For two people that love to be single and don't want anybody, like, on them, for them to naturally gravitate and come towards each other in the end is saying something, is what I'm saying. That must truly be a damn connection. Um, and if you both love being single, I'm feeling... I mean, I'm not saying you guys are going to come together um, as a twin flame. Not at all. But I'm just saying, if it ends up happening, it doesn't mean you have to get married. It doesn't mean you have to get married. And if you do, there are things called prenups. Just saying, just saying. I mean, hell, you, you guys, I need, I mean, hell, you, you're both living separate lives apart right now. So you're not even there by any stretch. Not even there by any stretch. But I'm saying, if it ever happens, twin flamey people, and one of them, it's the masculine energy that denies it. It's the masculine energy that denies it. So you masculine energy, you deny that the other masculine or the femme is your twin. How that resonates and applies. Um, and you have for a hot ass minute. It's like you repressed it out of your mind. But, okay, yeah. But we're back to this. So my point is, is if it ever does happen, like the connection gets closer, stronger, what have you, what have you. It doesn't mean you guys have to get married. It doesn't mean um, you have to get married. It doesn't mean you have to get married. And there are things called prenuptial agreements. 
if you really want to make it fancy and official in marriage. Just saying, just saying. If you are that traditional kind of person, hell, I'm not, but some people are. Just saying, just saying. Okay? The, I mean, I'm just throwing that out there. But you're not even to those damn points yet. Hell, the masculine energy over here, and it could be a masculine or femme that is his twin and he's repressing this shit. Y'all aren't even to that point. So I'm just saying. I was just a little food for thought side note. Okay? So this was wake up call in the past, basically, that um, masculine energy, you know, for a hot ass minute, it's your twin. You just didn't want to admit it. And you had, you didn't want to admit it. I can't get you off my mind. But yet you think of her or him. But yet you think of her or him all the damn time. Well, that's a little clue. Just saying, just saying. No, if you two come in energetic contact, the energy will shift. But you know this. You know this. You're so intuitive. Oh, oh my God. Okay. So masculine energy, I'm talking to you. So it could be masculine thin twin flame that you know deep inside it's your twin but you just don't want to admit it you love being single you love being by yourself maybe you don't want to uh i don't know but this person loves being single by themselves too so apparently it works out but my point is masculine energy <laughs> damn this is this is funny um okay so <laughs> i heard if you guys come into energetic contact which you're not right now but if you do I heard the energy will completely shift, but you're highly intuitive and you know this, sir. So just know that, okay? This resonates for you, okay? But you know this. And uh, he or she might know this too, your counterpart over here, okay? Depends on, depends on the person. October. But I will tell you, you both live very happy single lives right now. And you both love fucking being single. But that really is a good, strong point there it really is because at least you know you both aren't codependent on another person just saying just saying october this masculine energy got a huge wake-up call in october and february of 2022 huge wake-up calls they have been life-altering for him this masculine energy got a huge wake-up call, uh, one of them, or two or two plus of them, in October, and one or two or two plus of them in February of 2022. I heard specifically 2022. So this is 2022 energy, whether it was October, February, or both. Um, and it's really, uh, it's really helped. Uh, you, masculine. I'm pulling you in. The masculine half of the twin flame where you are basically repressing the thought that God forbid this person be my twin or God forbid I have a twin. It's either that this person is your twin or I have a twin. But I don't think it's the person. I think it's the ideal of the twin flame journey is what I think. I don't think it's the person because I heard you think about them all the time. So I think you are romantically attracted to this person, sir. Just saying, just saying. I don't think it's the looks. And I'm just being for real, for real. I don't think it's the looks. Um, as far as anything else, hell, I don't know. But I definitely don't think it's the looks. Just saying, just saying. Um, but however that resonates. Um, and I say I don't think it's the looks because you can't quit thinking about this person. So it's either the looks or the maybe the way they speak or the way they interact or something else about them but i feel it's more external based that's why i said looks but it could be something else maybe you love their mind maybe you love their mind maybe you love their booty i mean i don't know but it's something about them that makes you think about them all the time and i don't think in like a dexter bury them in the graveyard kind of energy and i'm just being for real like it's i think it's positive so that's why I say looks, but it really could be anything, and I'm just being for real, okay? Okay, so yeah, wake up calls. One in October and one in February, and and another one in November of 2022, and another one in November of 2022. Holy shit, you've had a lot of wake up calls. Masculine part of the twin flame journey? I'm pulling you in so strong, dude. Just saying, just saying. 
So you've had, um, okay, so at least three wake-up calls in 2022, at least three. And for some of you masculines, if you resonate over here, it could be more than that. Um, That's a lot of wake-up calls, uh, a lot of spiritual awakenings. I've had two in a year before, never three. But everybody's different. Everybody's different. Okay, so I heard for one, um, February, October, and November. Now, for some, you could have only had one, whether it's February, October, or November. For some, you could have had wake-up calls in all these months. For some, two. For some, one. For some, two plus, whatever, whatever, whatever. Okay? February, uh, February, October, November. Okay, that's what I heard. So, I feel for some of you masculines, if you fit over here in this twin flame journey, repressed twin flame journey over here, as well what I'm going to call it, um, I feel, um, for one, you could have had all three wake-up calls, for some it could have been two or two plus, but I heard, uh, February, October, and then November, okay, uh, wake-up call, spiritual awakening, um, uh, energy, well, I didn't hear spiritual awakening, I just kind of intuitively feel it, but definitely wake-up call, I heard wake-up call, it don't have to be spiritual awakening, there is a difference between Spiritual awakening and wake-up calls. That's just the truth. So it didn't have to be a spiritual awakening. I didn't hear spiritual awakening. But wake-up call. Whatever the hell it was about. Finger, wanting you have a problem either now or in the future. This person has realized they have created huge problems in their twin flame's life, but through many series of chain of events, they're about to start helping making them right. Okay. So, whoever you are, masculine energy over here, I feel it's you, sir. I uh, heard you realize you've created huge problems in your twin flame's life, whether it's another masculine or femme. Um, and I heard through many series of chain of events, you're going to help make them right. So, I mean, you're, in here earlier, we heard you've been thinking about this person all the time. So, I can't get you off my mind. I mean, my singing sucks, but at least my windows are still intact. Just saying. But my point is, you think about them all the time, but that might be one of the reasons. Um, not in a sexual, oh, let me grab your butt way. But like, hey, I caused you so many damn problems. It's either made your life fall apart or... Almost made your life fall apart or contributed to some something negative in your life or what have you, what have you. Um, that kind of energy is what I'm feeling. But at least now you're thinking about it and you're contemplating about it and you want to make it better. I will tell you that. I think in the past you didn't think about it that way or you didn't think about it at all or whatever, whatever. I mean, I don't know why you didn't think about it in the past. It sounds like lack of empathy or sympathy. But now it sounds like the energy has shifted. And that's good. Because at least you were, because I heard the mini series of Chain Venture, going to help start mending them one by one. So it sounds like it's been several times you have been a blockage to your twin, a hindrance to your twin, a um, nuisance to your twin. Like, you were like a twin flame nightmare, like a demon, like a fucking demon. Just being for real. But at least now you're recognizing it in your head and you're going to start helping fix it. Uh, problem by problem, whatever you cause, I'm presuming, sir. Or, well, just saying, just saying. Um, that's some shitty shit. That's some shitty, shitty, shitty shit. But at least now, through many series of chain events, you're about to help start fixing it. And I will tell you that. Just straight up, for real, for real. Okay? That's good. Okay. So, warning you of a problem either now or in the future is basically, um, I think you were getting intuitive signs because I heard you're very intuitive. I think, sir, you were getting intuitive signs that you knew you fucked up 
Because I heard you intentionally cause this person like blockages, delays, power moments. Like you cause them negative energy to keep them stuck and stagnant and delayed. Like who does that? True love, if anybody needs to hear this, true love heals. It doesn't hurt. If anybody needs to hear that, true love heals. It doesn't hurt. If someone needs to hear that, true love heals. It doesn't hurt. Now, I know at this point in your twin flame journey, you're not even to love. I know that. You're repressing the fact they're even your fucking twin because you love being single. I get it. I get it because I love being single. I'm a single woman. But my point is, if you ever even were thinking about ever being with this person at any stretch in your life, it'd be a good idea not to try to control them, domineer them, abuse them. True love heals. Not hurts. If anyone needs to hear that. If you love them, let them go. Just saying, just saying. Okay? So, freedom, not control. You see what I'm saying? That's kind of, um, and I think your intuition was warning you of that in the past. It most certainly was. Completely different perspective change now. Okay, I heard it most certainly was, but there's a completely different perspective change now. So, Okay, so yeah, it did. Your intuition warned you. Your intuition warned you that you were creating stagnancy, blockages, delays for this person, or whatever the hell you were doing. I, it doesn't sound like it was good. It sounds like it was several times. Um, but you intuition, your in, inner conscious here, gave you a wake up call. Um, it's like an inner bitch slap, basically, is what I how I look at that. It's like an inner freaking bitch slap. Everybody needs an inner bitch slap every now and then. That's just damn true. Just saying. But I heard you're going to start helping, not hurting now. So, good. That's good. Moving forward, the wheel is turning in a positive way. It isn't, I mean, even if you never connect with this person ever again a day in your life, it's still good. You're going to still help this person. If you never get to, if y'all never come together and connect as twins in a relationship, you never do. Most twins don't make it in the twin flame dynamic, but it's because of bullshit. Past, the past energy of this bullshit. That's why. Karmic energy. But it's getting past it. Moving forward. That's what I'm trying to say. Sounds like you are. You are, um, you are coming out of that funk, sir. And I heard the mini series of chain events, you're going to start helping this person. So I hope you're not helping them strictly to get in their hand. I didn't hear you are. I didn't hear you are, sir. Only you know, only you know your intentions, not anybody else. I'm not accusing you of this. I didn't hear that. But I'm just saying, I hope that's not the intention. Okay. I hope it's truly because you care about this person as a person and you want to help better their lives as a human being. Regardless of whether they're ever with you as a person, like romantically. And that's just the truth. You know what I'm saying? Okay. We're moving on. Refuge. Uh, well, let's do the miracles with it. Um, number 31 or 16 could be very significant numbers in one's life. Number 31 or 16, it could be a possible age of you or somebody you're connected to or any other significant number. 31 or 16. We have miracles upright, refuge upright. You know this person is a very secure person to confide in, talk to, and trust. And you are right. You know this person is a very secure person to confide in, talk to, and trust. And you're right, is what I heard. So this person is very loyal, basically. They're very loyal. But they are very opinionated. But they're very opinionated. They're very loyal, but they're very, very opinionated. Well... Can't stand the heat. Stay out of the fire. That's just the truth. Well, that's the best of both worlds. In my opinion, they're very loyal, but they're very opinionated. Well, hell, do you want somebody, a robot, the rest of your life, that just bows down, down to you every, your every whim? That's not fun, man, if anybody needs to hear that. It's just not fucking fun. Just saying. I wouldn't want anybody that just bowed down to me at every whim. Don't you like some little flat back in your life? I mean, not like in a drama way, but like in a 
makes you think kind of way. I don't care if this person ends up just being your friend the rest of your life. Or if they end up being something more. Or if they end up never being around you in energetic connection again. And you just help them from afar. Help fix all the shit you did to them in the past, whatever it was. Okay? But the point is, everyone should have their own mindset, their own thoughts, their own values, their own belief systems. Being able to think for themselves is what I'm trying to say. And this person does, and you do too. And that is good. You want independent thinkers. You don't want somebody that just goes with the flow all the time. And it's just the truth. Because uh, our world is not going to change in, for the better if we don't. Oh, I got to hurry up. My son's calling. My son. Oh, I think it's my son. I hope it's my son. Um, so, yeah. So, I love you guys. I'm closing it. Namaste.